Hey guys. So I am super, super excited. I submitted another request at another facility. Um, it is a nursing home slash skilled nursing. So it's something that my boy already has experience with. And I should be finding out today if he can or if he has been approved to go visit the elderly as there's actually a resident in the home that I know. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to take him up there. So because we might be getting to go, I am going to give him a bath and I will show you guys how I do that. Normally, I have a groomer that I know personally that gives me a discount because I only take him there because I can't, like, I can't give him the regular grooming that he does need because it's too hard on my back. Um, so I do get that discount. Um, and there's also a self-serve dog wash in a town next to me. Um, that for, you know, uh, a very, really cheap price. You can use all the product of theirs that you want. They provide the... You know, the soap, as much product as you need, and they've got the tubs that stand up higher so that you don't have to bend your back so bad. Um, so normally we take them there, but this is just going to be a rinse off since it has been wet. And that's one of the reasons why I haven't posted because this nest, this kind of weather does affect me as it does probably most chronic pain patients. So here in a minute, I'll show you guys how I give my boy a bath. Um, the funny thing is, is he'll only do this for me and I can't wait to show you. So let me finish getting ready for the day, get on, uh, you know, bath clothes for him and you guys get to help me give him a bath today. Okay, so I'm back and yeah, I had to get changed because as most of you know, giving a dog a bath is a messy affair and you can get wet. But I wanted to show you, um, I'm moving my Roomba robot um, because it is wet outside. We've actually had some pretty heavy rain the last few days. And so my boy brings in a lot of dirt. But if he's going to go to, anytime he goes to a nursing home, I always try to make sure that he's the clean, you know, that he's as clean as he can be. And I tried to plan it for, sorry, I'm watching how my robot's acting. Um, but I always try to plan it for when I can give him bath just before, or at least rinse him off. Um, and that way I don't track a lot of dirt. And of course right now, because the fleas and ticks are dormant, I don't treat him with this vet. I only do that during the summertime. Um, but just to show you how dirty it can get and one of the reasons why I'm glad I have hardwood floors is you can see right here, if you can see that, um, that mess is what he tracked in. And of course when he knows I'm not feeling good, he does like to lay beside me. So, but he's also terrified of my Roomba right here. So I get it started in the room and I shut the door and that way one because of the conspiracy about cameras. Is it true? I don't care. I close the door. And plus it keeps, you know, keeps from freaking my dog out. So let me go give him a call and I'll let you guys see how he goes into the bathroom. And the interesting thing is he won't go this easily for anybody but me, but I'm mom. So I'll go get diesel for you. Okay, so I'm fixing to call my boy. And yeah, it is kind of, sometimes it doesn't make any sense to give them a bath when it's wet outside. But if we're going bye-bye, I usually try to keep them inside until our venue's done. Can you say hi, baby? Diesel. He loves to sit and say hi to me. That's our ritual every time he comes in. Diesel, bath. Come on, let's go bath. And you can see him holding his head down. And he's actually trying to run Diesel. Bath. Come on, bath. He will not do this for anyone else. Bath. He has given me a fit. He doesn't want to, but he will. Come on, bath. And he'll just jump right on in. Come on. 
Good boy. So he's already had his bath for the month, so I'm just going to do a quick rinsing and I will be back. So this is the shampoo that I use. And of course, we've actually been going to a facility that's a self-serve. Um, but the way I see it, if it's too hot for me, it's too hot for him. And I'll get another part of the video whenever I get him wet. So I will be back. So I thought you guys like to see him wet. <laughs> He's doing so good. Stay there, baby. But I didn't get as good as I do, and normally Daddy does this. Diesel! So, thought I'd let you look. I'm gonna rinse this out of him, get conditioner, and then give him a break, and I need a break. Again, this isn't normally something I would do. I just had to show off how well he gets into the tub for me when I need him to. So, I'll show you when he's done. Okay, so we're almost done. I'm just finishing rinsing. And I've got the curtain closed because to diesel, that's like a door. And I'm going to wait until he shakes off to let him get out. And that's one of the reasons it's one of the reasons I have this curtain closed is to try to help keep as much water from getting all over the house. So as soon as he shakes, no sir, you gotta shake. Come on, shake. Come on. Come on, baby, shake. Shake. Come on. <laughs> I guess he knows he's on camera. Are you going to shake? You want to get out? You got to shake for me. And he does have his own towels, too, because the idea of sharing towels with my dog is just not something I'm privy of. Please, Diesel. <laughs> I love that look. You're gonna wanna get it all over my house, aren't you? But because it is wet outside, I'm gonna let him stay inside until he dries off, especially since uh, we have hardwood floors, it won't be hard to clean. Um, I did not condition him like I wanted to because my back just wouldn't let me do it. Of course you had to wait. Come here, baby. So I'll dry him off as well as I can. <laughs> And normally, I would drape the towel over him and take him to the back door. Um, but because it is wet outside and that would kind of defeat the purpose of rinsing him off, I'm going to keep him inside. And it's cold outside. This is mainly just to make sure that we don't leave dirt uh, when he gets to go visit the nursing home. So he's done pretty good. And I'm you now one of the really cute things is he's wanting to go outside because that's what he's used to. Sorry for the dishes. Diesel, come on. But again, it's wet and that would defeat the purpose. I'm taking him to his bed so he can dry off. And throughout the day, until we get where we're planning on being, I'm not going to have him go outside. Come here, baby. I'm trying to get him on his bed. There we go, and that way he can dry himself off. So there's Diesel's bath. And normally I do a little bit more, but I just couldn't today because of my back. And again, we normally take him either to the groomers and have somebody that I know personally do it, or we'll take him to a facility, and my husband usually takes over because it's just too big of a task for me. So I'm going to let him dry where it's warm and where he won't get dirty, but that's how Diesel does his bath. And normally he would shake while he was in the shower, um, but he had already done that and I had to rinse him off again, so he didn't understand that I needed him to do it again. And that's okay. That's part of why I've got hardwood floors. It's just so much easier to keep clean when you have a dog in the home. But there's Diesel being nice and clean, ready to go visit people. Funny thing is, now the funny thing is, he's being super cute. He's thinking we're going bye-bye. I just shouldn't have spelled it. I normally won't say that word unless we are going, because he gets super excited. 
He is now of the oppression that we are going BYE, BYE, even though I didn't say that because he's had his bath and because I have the leash in my hand. Come here, Diesel. Come on. And he doesn't want to get out. <laughs> Diesel, we're not going yet. Come on, baby. Diesel, come on. Come on. But because he has had his bath, I do at least bring him outside so that he can go potty without getting dirty. Sit. Good boy. And I'm sorry, I'm doing this all one-handed. That this way he can't lay in the... Sorry about the finger. All right, come on. But I do this so that he can't lay in the dirt as that would kind of defeat the purpose of having his bath. So instead I put him on a leash and we'll go for a quick walk so that he can go potty or do his business. And it's a little chilly out here, so I don't want my dog having wet hair out here outside. You go potty. I'm going to take him over to the tree. Where you at? There you are. Sorry about that, guys. Come here, please. <laughs> Come on, baby. And hopefully we'll get word today on if he's going to go visit the elderly. I'm super excited about him getting started with that. And then if we do get to, I will show you guys just how excited he gets when he gets to go BYE, BYE. And he does understand that word very well and gets super excited like a, like a kid having ice cream or getting some kind of treat. And I don't want to tease him like that. That's mean. If we actually go, I want to be able to take him somewhere and not just tease him because it's just not, no. No, that's not fair. So hopefully we'll get a chance to go play today and he'll get to do what he's best at. So he's all ready to go. We're just waiting for the approval phone call, which I told would happen this morning. So anyways, there's Diesel, all cleaned up, ready to go. Can you come here, Dees? Actually, I want you to sit in the driveway. Call me paranoid about the dirt, but it kind of defeats the purpose. Come here, Diesel. Dees. It is a little cold and I'd prefer him to be dry. Diesel, sit. Good boy. Ah. Sit. Stay. Can you say bye-bye? Can you say bye-bye? Up, sit. Come on, you know better. Sit. Ah, he'll mind off leash. Sit. Say bye bye. There you go. All right, come on, dude. We are going to go back in and let him warm up. Come on, Dees. Come on, baby.